All right, here's a video talking about could Obama return back as president in 2020 or 2024. Well, we know that the only way that's possible is if Congress repealed the 22nd Amendment. That would allow Obama to run or George Bush or Bill Clinton or whoever. Some of us are suspicious that Obama just might go back into the White House because of the Illuminati card game backlash. This has yet to happen. So that means that Obama's purpose for the New World Order is not yet complete because this card has not been fulfilled yet. Now, I did find an article just today where it talks about Trump will repeal the 22nd Amendment president forever. No! And the article goes on to say, I do not know a single supporter of the president who opposes the idea, at least in theory. If Trump is serving more than eight years, the man himself has entertained it openly, praising Sing Yang Tang, or whatever this guy's name is from China, for getting rid of term limits. Wow, awesome. Give him praise, huh? So you can see that there is a possibility that Obama could return back into the White House as president. I can assure you this. If this 22nd Amendment got altered or changed, allowing previous presidents to run again, every wicked soul in America would be out on the streets dancing around. Woohoo! Obama's coming back. Yay! But you have to understand something. This is the most important part of this video. We already know who the real 44 is, and it's not Obama. If you go and research Ivanka Trump, 2028 Simpsons, Treehouse of Horror, number 27, they actually reveal who the president's going to be in 2028. So this episode ran in October 16th of 2016. Now, you have to keep in mind, this is before Trump won in November of 2016. Remember when Clinton and Trump were running all that? They actually revealed who's going to be president in 2028. Now, I would like to point out, The Simpsons is the most accurate future predicting show ever. So if they're saying that Ivanka Trump's going to be president in 2028, uh, it's probably true. Remember, there's a guy that had the seven prophecies back in 1933, where he said he saw this beautiful woman coming into power. But if you haven't heard of this guy, his Branham Seven Visions, you look that up on YouTube, check out the video. This guy back in 1933, and I know that number 33, you know, the Illuminati's favorite number and all that, but hey, the guy had a phenomenal vision, and these things have actually happened. What he saw was a pretty lady coming into office. Well, he didn't know if it was actually a female coming into power. What he saw was this beautiful lady arrayed in, like, purple or something over America, and she was cruel or evil or something. And then after that, he saw craters all over America, like it had been destroyed or it had gone through some horrific war. But it sounds to me like it. what he saw could have been the full manifestation of the Whore of Babylon. America really is Babylon the Great. Or he could have seen a female president, which could be the last president. I do know this. I'm very interested in this right here. And I do believe that between the year 2028 and 2032 will most likely be when the Madrid fault line cracks America in half and every interstate bridge will be collapsed, every railroad bridge will be collapsed, you know, grocery stores aren't going to be replenished, the gas stations are going to be without fuel, and families are going to be standing in long lines going to FEMA camps for help, and, and then everything after that is just sorrow and death. But Anyway, if you get time, just come over here and type this in on YouTube and check out this guy's seven visions, end time vision.